In this video, we're going to look at Hamiltonian paths and cycles. Now, these were named after a mathematician named Sir William Hamilton. So a Hamiltonian path will pass through every vertex only once. So in the previous video, we we're talking about passing over every edge only once. This time we're talking about passing over every vertex only once. A Hamilton cycle is basically the same as a Hamiltonian path. The difference being that you start and end at the same vertex. Now, sadly, Hamiltonian paths and cycles do not have a straightforward rule to check whether a path or cycle is possible. The only way to check it is basically by observation, by tracing over edges and vertices and seeing if it works or not. Hamiltonian paths and cycles are really useful for salespeople. A salesperson will want to pass through every town only once as they visit and try and sell items. So if we look at our map below, we've got Brendale, Albany Creek, Bridgman Downs. So I'm going to put a vertex for each town. And the salesperson wants to pass through each town only once. They don't want to pass through the same town twice. So let's say I started at Brendale and decided to go across and down to Castledine and then to Aspley and then to Bridgman Downs and then across to Albany Creek. This would not be a really ideal path to take because I still need to get to Geebung, Zilmere, Boondall and Deegan and in order to do that I'm going to have to pass through vertices that I've already passed through before. So I'm going to have to go back through towns that I've already sold stuff in. Okay, so this one, a, a Hamiltonian path will definitely exist. In fact, it might even have a Hamiltonian cycle that exists. So I'm going to rub it out and try again. Remembering that the only way to check if one exists is by observation, by actually tracing and checking it. So we'll start at Brendale again. And this time we want to end back at Brendale. Let's try and go for a Hamiltonian cycle. Notice that we passed through every town only once, and then we went and ended up back at Brendale. So we might say maybe this traveling salesperson lives at Brendale, and they went all the way around, passed every town, and came back home. Anyway, that concludes our video introducing Hamiltonian paths and cycles. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.